Do you know when or how to properly report house plan? Here are few signs that your plant needs a new home. When the roots are growing out of the drainage holes or pushing beyond the top of the soil. When the soil dried out quickly and looks very thirsty and it's been years since you reported it. Or the plant simply look like it's too big for its pot, like this one. This philodendron working in its nursery pot and now the pot is not supporting the plant weight and the plant is unstable in this current pot. So it's time to report this plant in new pot. To maintain plant's healthy growth, reporting is one of the essential part of plant care. The main reason for reporting is to give the plant additional room to grow and also provide a refresh of soil as it can become depleted of nutrients over time. Believe me, reporting house plant is fun, easy, a little messy, but very relaxing. I love when it's time to report my house plants. Friends, if you have limited space for gardening, then you should buy this gardening mat. It is conveniently sized for home gardening, easy to carry and clean. The inside of the mat is made of waterproof fabric that prevents water strain from leaking on the ground and avoids soiling the floor. Easy to carry and clean, convenient to store and perfect for apartment gardeners. You can buy it online from Amazon. The planter is the home in which your house plant will thrive. So it's crucial to make sure the pot size is the right size. Select new pot that is 2 inches bigger than its nursery or previous planter. Going from small pot to giant one is big no. If you choose pot too large, your plant's root will sit in stagnant water, likely resulting in root rot. Or if the pot is too small, it will stunt your plant's growth further. My advice, select the new pot between half inch to two inches bigger than the previous pot and ensure the new pot has adequate drainage holes. Cover the drainage holes with stone, pebbles or porous material like brick pieces. This prevents soil from falling out but still allows water to pass through. While selecting the planter, think about material of the pot which can help control moisture level according to what your plant needs. For plants that need dry soil like succulent or cactus, use terracotta or clay pot. On the other hand, philodendrons are fans of moisture. They are from rainforest habitat. However, they don't like soggy or waterlogged soil. A fine balance is needed to keep them satisfied without overdoing it. So here I am using this plastic pot. Philodendron requires speed-based nitrogen-rich soil mix. The potting mix should be lightweight and well-draining. I am taking equal part of garden soil, coco peat, compost and perlite. Perlite increases the space between soil particles to improve drainage and ensure the root have enough oxygen. Coco peat retains plenty of moisture but it is not heavy, lightening the mix and the weight of the container at the same time. You can add more or less of each material as needed depending on the garden soil texture. Now fill the lower one third part of the planter with soil. Gently remove your plant from current container. Proceed slow and steady with this step to prevent any root damage. Before placing the plant into its new pot, break apart some of the old soil that solidified at the bottom when you pull the plant out. This will loosen the roots and let them breathe. Place the plant in its new home. Take care not to leave the roots exposed to air for too long. Gently move the plant straight into the new pot. Once the plant has settled into its new base, fill the surrounding empty spot in the pot with soil. 
This helps make sure your plants stay steady and upright. Water your newly repotted plant thoroughly. This will help your plants get all the nutrients it needs in its new home. Now keep your plant out of bright direct light for few weeks after repotting. After transplanting, plants usually recover after few days of care unless they are replanted incorrectly. Moving plant from one pot to another pot sometimes disturbs its roots and roots are the responsible for absorbing water and nutrients from the soil. Any root disturbance or root damage can hinder the plant ability to uptake water which is why the leaves will turn yellow or dry. So give some time, make sure the new pot has sufficient drainage holes and water your plants regularly but avoid overwatering. The repotting process allows you to give the plant a more suitable growing environment with additional space and potting mix with proper nutrients. That's all for today's video. I hope you liked it. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Till then, take care and happy gardening.